In this video, we'll be looking at problem number three from Pendulums and SHM Problem Solving Worksheet. Problem number three reads, what is the period of a simple pendulum 80 centimeters long on Earth and when it is in a freely falling elevator? So in part A, this is a pretty simple problem. This is just going to be plug and chug with T equals 2 pi times the square root of L over G. We know we're on Earth, so G will be 9.8 meters per second squared. L is the length of the pendulum. It's 80 centimeters long. We're going to go ahead and convert that to meters because we've got G in meters per second squared, and that allows us to solve for T. So we would say 2 pi square root of 0 0.80 meters divided by 9.8 meters per second squared. Plug this into our calculator and we come up with a period of 1.8 seconds. So straightforward for part A. What's the period? Well, we're here on Earth sitting stationary, 1.8 seconds. Part B. So this was A. Here's B. Part B reads, what is the period of the simple pendulum 80 centimeters long when it is in a freely falling elevator? Okay, if the elevator is in free fall, everything in the elevator is also in free fall. So free fall is when only force is gravity. So if this is our pendulum bob and it's hanging from the roof of the elevator and it's in free fall, the only force acting on it is the force of gravity. There can't be any tension force here because we're in free fall. So the only force acting is the force of gravity. No tension force. If there's no tension force, then there's no centripetal acceleration towards the center. Everything in that elevator is falling straight down. So even if you were to have pulled the pendulum bob back in this direction, so that mg was right here, and you had tension initially here, as soon as we enter free fall, the string falls straight down, the, the bob falls straight down, the elevator falls straight down, period equals zero seconds. There is no oscillation in a freely falling pendulum. Everything is just falling straight down no matter what position it started in. So this is one of those questions where they're kind of checking to uh, see whether you understand Newton's second law and the summation of forces and you understand the free fall condition. And basically in a free fall situation, you can have no period of the pendulum, okay? If we were to take a pendulum to the space station and we were to try to let it go, it would not swing back and forth. Because when you're in a space station, you're in free fall in orbit around the earth, no period in the free fall condition. It's not possible for a pendulum to oscillate. The story would be different for a mass on a spring, but for a pendulum, there is no oscillation during the free fall condition. Hopefully this was helpful.